Hello, Sorish. I saw your clip. You have made a big improvement before view my clips. And then after you view my clips. I saw your full coat covering drills, quite nice and smooth. But there are a few things I will point out. And please try to understand the reasons why I am pointing that out. And also I will show you how those points should be changed. And what kind of exercise will help you to change and improve those factors. I am copying what I saw from your clip. So Perry is you. I am your partner who is feeding shuttle to you. Okay, have a look. This is what I saw. Okay, ready, go. In order to point the factors clearly out, I may exaggerate it, but the issue I have in this one is that you are moving one pace. You serve, you're ready. Hit, you come back same way, and you move you come back same way. If I compare the field track, your movement is like a marathon. Same pace. There is no wave. Badminton players need both stamina, fitness of the marathon, as well as the 100 meter sprinters explosive power why i have no idea where my opponent will hit i have to wait he hit i have to push off but i don't see the push off so this is what i want to see let's say you lift there then you lift it Quickly back, and then ready. Ready, go. After clear, clear, ready, and then go. But this quickly come back, prepare yourself, push off, is not there. You hit, come, and move.
There is a reason why you developed this way. I guess your partner who is feeding, feeding same quite comfortable pace. You may do it three minutes or five minutes in a row, which is not good. It is better 15 rallies or 20 rallies, quite sharp. Okay, let's say, if I feed Perry in this drill 20 times, about 10 shots has to be deceptive and sharp. But still he can get it. That's what I will feed. Another 10 shot make him move deeper corners to develop his stamina and the leg strength. But at the moment, your partner is feeding you to develop endurance-based, but there is no real badminton explosive uh, movement. And the factor of if I don't ready like that, I can't get to the shuttlecock is not there. Watch this. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, out of uh, 20 shots from me, he will not able to return two, three shots. Because he was not able to return it, next set, he will watch out what he missed. Compare to like this. Let's say if someone did that drill 10 minutes in a row, all he can improve is endurance. But that 10 minutes drills like that intensity will not be able to use in the real match. Because the opponent will do everything to put you under pressure by attacking clear, Deceptive drop shot, check smash, power smash. He will use every possible way to put you under pressure. So this drill is one of the most hardest drill in singles badminton training. But the quality has to be there. Okay, I will feed uh, this way to you if I'm with you. Yeah, watch him, what I will do. Okay, do your best. I will try to finish the rallies. Go. <laughs> ah, come on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So it's like uh, I'm feeding him like uh, this is the uh, final game, final point. Of course, I will adjust a little bit. 
but he has to really ready and go. Otherwise, he cannot follow the shuttlecocks. So ask your partner to feed much sharper shots, attack clear, check drop shot, smash, high clear, mix. Now I will show you what kind of things you need to train to improve this area. I will show you the exercise from the easier ones. Let's say, yeah, practice uh, one, yeah, ready. Okay, center, center, stay, move a little bit. Don't go, just one stop, ready? Go, one, ready, go, one, ready, go, one, ready, go. Okay, so opponent hit, look. That is uh, the very important basic. Opponent hit, look, because my weight, my power is on the floor, I can push off. There. But if I do that, nothing to push. After that, go. Next one is rhythm. Recovery steps, pause and go. Shorter movement. Don't go too deep. Ready? Move. Go. Recovery. Yeah, wait. Uh, one, just two. One, pause, bang. Ready, wait, push it. Push, bang. Push. Ready, push. Stop. So try to be in the air. When opponent hits, the feeder should point when he's in the air. Ready, go. He's in the air. So when he Thank you. When he lands, he know where to go. That's the next level. After that, you can do that too. This is very good because you don't see my action. You only see when you're coming back. So you cannot have a pre-movement. So you have a very short second to see it and act. Ready? One, yes, two, ready, three, four, ready, five, one more. Stop, well done. Do that. Ten shots, five sets. That will develop, push it off and be able to see and move. So for now, do those kind of a three exercises to develop your one, push off. The most important thing in badminton is you do not know where opponent will hit about 90%. If you are better than your opponent, maybe 70%. But if your opponent is better than you, 95% you don't know. So build up the ability to push off and able to fill the whole corners is badminton.